Have you ever wondered how a device can recognize you just from your fingerprint? It's a fascinating question, isn't it? This marvel of technology is called biometrics, and it's changing the way we think about security and identification. Biometrics is a technology that identifies individuals based on their unique physical or behavioral traits. It's like your body's own personal password. No two people share the same biometric data, making it an incredibly secure and efficient way to verify identity. One of the most common and widely used forms of biometric technology is the fingerprint scanner. You've probably encountered these in your daily life, maybe on your smartphone or at work. These scanners can read the unique patterns on your fingertips, allowing devices to recognize you as you. But you might be wondering, how does this technology work? How exactly does a machine read your fingerprint? Well, that's what we're here to explore. So, how exactly does a machine read your fingerprint? Let's dive in. To understand fingerprint scanners first, we need to grasp the science behind our fingerprints. You see, every person's fingerprints are unique, as individual as the person themselves. They're formed while we're still in the womb, and interestingly, they stay the same throughout our lives. They're our body's own personal signature, inscribed on our skin. These unique patterns come in three types, loops, whorls, and arches. Loops make up about 65% of all fingerprints, whorls about 30%, and arches only about 5%. But within these categories, the variations are seemingly endless. Even identical twins who share the same DNA have different fingerprints. As a fetus develops, the pressure and blood flow within the womb influence the formation of these patterns. Even slight shifts in position can result in drastic differences in the fingerprints of twins. Now let's dive a bit deeper into the structure of our fingerprints. They're made up of tiny ridges and valleys. The ridges are the raised portions that you can feel when you touch your fingertips, while the valleys are the recessed areas in between. These ridges and valleys form intricate patterns that are unique to each individual. And it's these patterns that fingerprint scanners are designed to recognize and analyze. When your finger touches the scanner, it captures the unique pattern of ridges and valleys. However, it's not just the pattern itself that's important. The minutia or the specific details within these patterns also play a crucial role. These include ridge endings, where a ridge stops, and bifurcations, where a ridge splits into two. The precise arrangement and occurrence of these minutiae add another layer of uniqueness to our fingerprints. In essence, our fingerprints are like a complex map of ridges and valleys with a unique distribution of minutia. It's this map that fingerprint scanners use to confirm our identity, making them a powerful tool in biometric security. Now that we know what makes our fingerprints unique, how does a scanner recognize these patterns? The answer to that lies in the fascinating world of biometric technology, which we'll explore in our next scene. The first generation of fingerprint scanners known as optical scanners used light to capture an image of the fingerprint. Let's take a journey back in time to the early days of biometric technology when the first generation of fingerprint scanners came into existence. These were none other than the optical scanners. Simple in design but sophisticated in function, these scanners used the principle of light reflection to capture the unique patterns of our fingertips. At the heart of an optical scanner, you would find three key components, a light source, a lens, and a charge-coupled device or CCD, which is a type of image sensor. Here's how the magic happened. When a finger was placed on the scanner, the light source would illuminate it. The ridges of the fingerprint would reflect the light back, while the valleys, being deeper, would absorb it. This created a contrast between the ridges and valleys, thus forming a unique pattern. The lens would then focus this reflected light onto the CCD. Acting like the eye of the scanner, the CCD would convert this light into an electrical signal, effectively capturing an image of the fingerprint. This image was then processed by the system to extract the unique features of the fingerprint, which were stored for future comparison. However, optical scanners had their limitations. For instance, they were susceptible to scratches and dust on the scanning surface which could affect the quality of the captured image. Moreover, they could be fooled by a simple photograph of a fingerprint, raising concerns about security. But despite these challenges, optical scanners played a crucial role in paving the way for biometric technology. They were the first step in a journey that would revolutionize the way we think about security and identity verification. They opened the door to a world where a simple touch could confirm who we are, making keys and passwords a thing of the past. But technology didn't stop there. The next generation of fingerprint scanners brought even more accuracy. 
and as we move forward we'll delve into these advancements in the upcoming scenes, so stick around as we continue this exciting journey into the world of biometric technology. Capacitive scanners the next generation use electrical currents instead of light. A quantum leap from their optical predecessors, capacitive scanners have revolutionized fingerprint scanning technology, offering an enhanced level of accuracy and security. But how exactly do they achieve this? Here's the science behind it. Instead of relying on light to capture an image of the fingerprint, capacitive scanners utilize the body's natural electrical conductivity. Your skin is, in essence, an electrical conductor, and the ridges and valleys of your fingerprints have different levels of conductivity. The ridges that make up our fingerprints are closer to the scanner surface, and thus they have a different capacitance than the valleys, which are further away. Capacitive scanners capitalize on this disparity, they incorporate an array of tiny capacitive cells each consisting of two conductor plates, separated by an insulating layer. When your finger is placed on the scanner, the ridges of your fingerprints touch the conductive plates altering the electrical charge stored in them. This change in capacitance is what the scanner detects and measures. This complex process results in a detailed map of the fingerprint. The scanner then converts this data into a digital binary code, which can be stored and compared for future reference. This method is extremely accurate and difficult to trick, providing a higher level of security than optical scanners. Capacitive scanners are not just about security, they're also about convenience. They're often found in everyday devices like smartphones and laptops, enabling quick and secure access, and because they don't require a light source, they're compact and energy efficient making them a perfect fit for portable devices. In a world where data security is paramount, capacitive scanners have proven to be a reliable ally. They have taken fingerprint scanning technology to a new level, ensuring that our personal information remains safe and secure. Yet, the evolution of this technology didn't stop at capacitive scanners. The future of fingerprint scanners lies in ultrasonic technology. Now that's a statement to ponder. You see, this cutting-edge technology uses high-frequency sound waves to map out a detailed three-dimensional image of your fingerprint, and it's setting the stage for a revolution in biometric security. So how does it work? Imagine a miniature submarine, like the ones in science fiction movies, navigating the ridges and valleys of your fingerprint. The ultrasonic scanner operates on the same principle. It sends out tiny sound waves that bounce back after hitting the ridges and valleys of your fingerprint. This echo is then captured and analyzed by the scanner, creating a detailed three-dimensional map of your fingerprint. The beauty of this technology lies in its precision. The sound waves can penetrate the outer layers of your skin, capturing the unique patterns that lie beneath. This allows for a more accurate reading, even in instances where the skin's surface might be compromised, such as when your fingers are dirty or wet. But the benefits of ultrasonic scanners go beyond just accuracy. From a security standpoint, these scanners provide an extra layer of protection. Since they capture data from beneath the skin's surface, they are less likely to be tricked by fake fingerprints or superficial alterations. Now you might be thinking, this sounds like something straight out of a science fiction movie. And you wouldn't be wrong. Ultrasonic scanners were once the stuff of science fiction, but today, they are becoming a reality. Major tech companies are already incorporating this technology into their devices signaling a significant shift in the way we approach biometric security. However, like all technology, ultrasonic scanners are not without their challenges. They require more power to operate than traditional scanners, and they can be more expensive to manufacture. But, as technology advances and becomes more efficient, these challenges will likely become less significant. As we can see, the technology of biometrics, specifically fingerprint scanners, is continually evolving. What was once a simple optical scan has now become a complex symphony of sound waves, painting a detailed and secure picture of our unique identities. And this, my friends, is just the beginning. So, why does all this matter? What impact do fingerprint scanners have on our lives? Well, the influence of this technology is far-reaching and profound. It's not just about unlocking your smartphone in a snap. The wonders of fingerprint scanning have spun a web of security and efficiency in our everyday life. It has revolutionized the way we authenticate our identity, from accessing our bank accounts to entering secure facilities, reducing the need for keys or passwords that can be easily lost or stolen. In a world where identity theft and cybercrime are rampant, fingerprint scanners offer a robust shield, a personal identifier that is unique and difficult to replicate. This technology is also a key player in forensics, 
helping law enforcement solve crimes and ensure justice. The evolution from the first-generation optical scanners to the advanced ultrasonic scanners shows how we've leveraged this technology to enhance our security and convenience. Fingerprint scanners, a marvel of biometric technology, truly have transformed the way we think about security and identity.